I was born in Switzerland, so I consider it to be my home country. Well, I always felt like Mozart was, you know, as part of basic knowledge and culture and education as math or English or, you know, cheese. My name is Melody, or more exactly, Melody. I was born in the French part of Switzerland, in Gruyère. I play this baby here, just fell in love with it when I saw my cousin play, that was maybe two years old. And I also compose. Yeah, this is my passion. I play the piano and other keyboards. My parents used to make these playlists with the best of classical music. My, my dad is a violinist and, and of course he wanted me uh, and my sister to get this culture, you know, to get this in our body. And um, I used to listen to a lot of Mozart when I was still in my mom's belly. I have to say there was really like a shifting point uh, with my, my love, my affection for his music. Um, when I discovered the Requiem, to be very exact, that's really the moment I was like, okay, just wow. And I wanted to cry. I was maybe six or seven years old. The Kyrie Eleison. Somehow this Fugato thing, the, I don't know, the, the polyphony, something clicked. And since then, Mozart has been such a big part of my life. And I am eternally grateful to my parents for making me discover and live with such miraculous music. Well, this one I gotta do in selfie because I have like three different faces for Mozart. This is for the Requiem. This is for the Joker. And this one is for when I'm very, very focused playing his music. I think what makes our volume so special is that we're showcasing three different concertos from three different periods and instruments. Of course, as a pianist, totally biased, by the way, I must say that Mozart used to fully express himself on the piano. And I had the chance to actually play the very first one, the very first concerto that was from his hand and not an arrangement. He was like 18 years old-ish, right? And, and he writes this, you know, sparkly music in his time. I tried to keep it as concise and pure and unaffected as possible. And I feel like we gave like a fresh interpretation of this music and full of this youth energy that this first original concerto by Mozart is full of. One story I could tell is that um, I wrote all the cadenzas in this concerto and the one in the second movement was actually planned to be shorter but then I was in the train going to Salzburg and I just sat by the window I was seeing this landscape and I was like no I'm hearing another music in my head literally in like I don't know 25 minutes I just wrote down the cadenza of the second movement um, and this actually appears in the recording so I'm very proud of that step that I took uh, and I'm very grateful to Mozart for you know pushing me to to be more inspired and, and to listen to my heart. Nous sommes Mozart Prochaine Génération. <laughs>